train the W percent sign D because it is a decimal number and just write out the point points variable alright then and if if it is dividable by 100 so if uh, points uh, modulus 100 make the another parenthesis to make it clearer equals zero then we want to delay uh, uh, de so decrease the delay with uh, 10 hundred there should be enough so the snake will be <laughs> quicker every time the point is reach uh, 100 or 200 300 you know that uh, and as make sure we uh, set back the get equals to false because uh, we set the get equal to true but the next time we come here to check the collision the get stays true so if there is no collision we set back to false obviously and if none of them was true then we just simply return with the uh, force so there is no collision oh simple enough okay now one of the uh, most important function comes this is called move snake <coughs> okay we have to uh, make the move snake function so snake class move all right oh not w now first of all we have to read the read the character which they which the user pressed or not because as you remember we use the no delay mm. so it will not wait until uh, the user press the key it will uh, read the key if the user pressed it but if the user doesn't press the key then it's simple do nothing <laughs> okay then we have to check uh, so switch tmp I use the switch uh, switch for that uh, you should already know what a switch is because we o we have used it uh, this is just simple then use the if as if you know okay then case uh, key left these are constants uh, you can find it them in the anchors as header file i think we cannot use this constants if the keypad is not initialized you remember we initialize it then we use a column and we use what do we want uh, uh, it is obvious that if the snake goes left so this direction then uh, right actually the snake goes right <laughs> then if we press the left key it should give uh, uh, no result because the snake cannot be uh, turn the direction like that so I hope this is clear so So if the direction is not equal to right, obviously, then uh, we set the direction equals to left. Okay, <coughs> uh, and actually break from it because uh, what just one of the condition is true. Okay, similarly to that key, we check all of it. So case key up for example make the next the up and if direction is not down uh, then we then make it to up simple enough okay and break okay next one case key down if direction not up then 
make it down and break what is it uh, key right if direction not equal to uh, left then make the direction to right okay and break all right and actually it is the end of the switch all right that was simple i think so this is actually this is almost the same as usually uh, in any game so usually in a 3d game there is such a function which actually just check that what a key was pressed and oh we need a more a quit key so case the key backspace i use the backspace key if uh, for the quit and make the direction equal to q so yeah quit and uh, break all right that is it now we uh, what this is the switch hmm and what is this hmm. i don't know okay uh, we need to make more things like move the snake obviously so uh, <coughs> First of all, delete the last element from the vector. So, uh, but only that case if we don't get the food. Because if we get the food, we don't delete the last element, so the snake will be longer, obviously. So if uh, not get, so if we don't get a uh, food, then <coughs> we move to the end of the snake. Actually, so snake snake dot size minus one we need the minus one because it starts from zero and we uh, give the y coordinate first and similarly the snake snake dot size minus one dot x and uh, just simple add ch there and add the character to the and the space character to there so we don't see the last element simple and actually refresh the screen so we can see the uh, what going on actually and snake dot pop back and we uh, get the po uh, last so we get out the last element from the snake vector okay i sh uh, you should know what pop back mean if n you don't then go to the uh, website i give you last time when we use the vector so yeah there is a uh, uh, <coughs> yeah i just simple get the last element out from the vector this is what does it mean delete the last element it is better word for that so uh, now we actually make the move we use the for function for that we could use uh, probably a switch and uh, things like that but uh, mm, because there is just one statement in each if i think the if version is a little bit uh, shorter so if direction is equal to left then we insert an element actually in a vector the the insert is not a very good uh, mm, process because it could take a lot of time and memory and so on so usually you should avoid the insert in vector but um, i uh, go through some other mm, yeah you know some other uh, uh, standard container and uh, none of them uh, give the opportunity to push an element back get an element from the last and you know uh, 
but they really not matter in this case it is like a simple program today's computer power is much greater than it could be seen in the CPU usage okay so we insert the snake uh, begin so we insert before the first element so we actually put a new element before the first element so make a new head actually okay uh, we uh, because we go left so left we decrease the x by one I think you understand why and snake zero dot uh, y yeah so uh, so yeah I I did a stupid thing so snake part because we create a new snake part object and uh, the snake part object will get two parameter obviously the constructor as you remember this constructor we use so we just set the x and the y simple enough okay because we go left we decrease the x okay uh, as actually as just copy this and paste it here ho oh ho okay if it is right then we the de uh, increase the x so plus one okay simple enough then we just copy and paste uh, if it is up so we want to go up we don't we don't care about the x coordinate but we decrease the y so minus one okay and uh, else if uh, we don't care about the x coordinate because it will be the down okay so it is down and if we go down we just simple uh, increase the y value so I hope it makes sense we just uh, make a decision where to go so here is my uh, thing so if the snake is here this is just two part snake then first we uh, we see that is it get a food or not if it is not get a food then we delete the last element and we put the first element depend on where the snake is goes so if the direction is left then it uh, simple cannot be left but the, if the direction is right then we put it here if the direction is uh, up then we put it here if the direction down we put it here so I hope you understand uh, what is going on here this is simple just think about it and you will uh, know that okay we don't care about the Q for now because uh, yeah uh, in case of Q uh, this will just simple uh, exit the program but we don't uh, uh, don't treat for now uh, we will treat for them in the main function so the start okay and now uh, we just simple move to the correct coordinates so snake zero dot y and the snake zero dot x okay oh not y x okay uh, yeah we put a new element so this is the snake zero and we go to the coordinates which we put in here I hope I think that this is clear as well and just add the character so this is the port char okay and refresh the screen so we can uh, see the change all right uh, most of the function is ready so get back here uh, we initialize the variables all of them okay and we use the put food collision and move snake function so we write those we have a, a destructor and a constructor we only let the start function which actually 
uh, make it all together to one program.